Hey everyone, welcome to Graybeard's Duels. Today we bring you 10 fun facts about Idaho. Number 1. Hell's Canyon is the deepest river gorge in America, deeper even than the Grand Canyon by almost 2,000 feet. The canyon is situated along the northeastern Oregon and western Idaho border. Some of the earliest inhabitants were the Native American Nez Perce tribe and you will see pictograms and petroglyphs along the canyon walls that serve as record of their time in the canyon. While there, you can take advantage of the many recreational opportunities available, such as world-class whitewater rafting, camping, fishing, and more. Number 2. Shoshone Falls, the Niagara of the West, spills over a 212-foot drop near Twin Falls in south-central Idaho on the Snake River. Shoshone Falls is 45 feet higher than Niagara Falls and is almost a thousand feet wide. To see the falls at their peak, visit from April through July when snowmelt from the Rockies increases the flow of the river. Later in the summer and through the fall, parts of the Snake River are diverted for irrigation and recharging the reservoirs upstream for the hydroelectric power plants. There is a small fee of $5 charged per card from March through September. Number 3. Rigby is known as the birthplace of television, as it is where Philo T. Farnsworth was living when he found inspiration for his earliest TV-based invention as a young teen. By age 16, he diagrammed the image dissector for his high school physics teacher, who was undoubtedly blown away by his young student's incredible mind. Farnsworth pioneered all electric television technology and received six patents for various components that remained in use for many, many years. Jefferson County Historical Society and Farnsworth TV and Pioneer Museum is a wonderful place to see and learn about the region and the history of television. Before we go any further, just a quick reminder to like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications. Number 4. Shelley has been home to the Idaho Annual Spud Day ever since 1927. The spud-centric event honors the official state vegetable on the third Saturday of every September and festivities include a Miss Russet pageant, parade, and carnival to name just a few. Idaho's rich volcanic soil, fresh water from mountain snow melt, clean air, sunny days, and cool nights all combine to produce the perfect storm of potato greatness, producing consistently high quality potatoes that are famous worldwide. Idaho is also home to the Idaho Potato Museum in Blackfoot. Number 5. The ghost town of Silver City in Owihe County is one of the few old mining towns in Idaho that wasn't lost to fire or commercialism. Founded in 1864 with the discovery of silver at War Eagle Mountain, the city quickly grew and served as county seat from 1867 to 1934. At its height as a mining town in the 1880s, there are around 2,500 residents and about 75 businesses. Today, 70 buildings still stand, all of which are privately owned, mainly by third or fourth generation descendants of the city's original miners. Visitors can stay at the Idaho Hotel, which was restored and opened to tourists in 1972. A visit here is like a trip back in time, and you can even explore the area on a horseback tour. Number 6. President Theodore Roosevelt established the Caribou National Forest in 1905 and the Targhee National Forest in 1908, and the two were combined in 2000. The Caribou Targhee National Forest occupies over 2.5 million acres and is located in Idaho, Wyoming, and a small part of Utah, and is situated almost entirely within the Greater Yellowstone area. It's home to a wide variety of wildlife including grizzlies, bighorn sheep, cougars, moose, great horned owls, and more. Visitors can enjoy camping, cycling, fishing, and many other outdoor activities. Number 7. The South Fork of the Boise River from Anderson Ranch Dam to Neal Bridge is known for its blue ribbon fly fishing. The tailwaters below the Anderson Ranch Reservoir are full of big beautiful rainbow trout that feed heavily on the caddisfly, stonefly, midge, and other aquatic insect hatches. The area has places where you can both wade or fish from a drift boat 
as opposed to bait or spin casting where a weighted lure or sinker is used to carry your line out, the fly fishing line is heavy enough on its own to send the lightweight artificial fly to your targeted fishing spot. Number 8. Seven Devils Mountains, part of the Rocky Mountain Range, are some of the highest mountains in Idaho. They border the eastern side of Hell's Canyon and are home to the Heaven's Gate Trail, which takes you almost 8,500 feet to Heaven's Gate Lookout, which allows you an epic view of four states at one time, Idaho, Washington, Oregon, and even Montana. To get to the Heaven's Gate Vista area, you will need a sturdy vehicle as you must navigate a 17-mile steep, rough gravel road. Number 9. The Kimiai Valley is rich in the heritage and legends of the Nez Perce, and it was their winter home where they came to fish for steelhead and to manufacture rope called Kamiut in their language, giving the area its name. It was here among the ancestors of the present-day Nez Perce that Appaloosa horse was first bred primarily for use as a war animal as they tried to keep their lands from being taken by the U.S. government. The Nez Perce were ultimately moved to reservation lands in north-central Idaho, and the Appaloosa breed has lived on to become a horse that is still very popular today. Number 10. Coeur d'Alene's Old Mission State Park is home to the Cataldo Mission, the oldest standing building in Idaho. Originally known as the Mission of the Sacred Heart, it was built between the years of 1850 and 1853 by Jesuit missionaries and members of the Coeur d'Alene tribe. Today, it's the site of an annual pilgrimage called the Feast of Assumption of the Virgin Mary, which takes place on August 15th. The spiritual event incorporates native drumming, singing, and dancing with Catholic prayer and worship, reflecting the rich history of the site. In closing, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.